Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. We will study about types of manifolds, two-way valve manifold, three-way valve manifold, five-way valve manifold, selecting a transmitter manifold, how five-way manifold used to isolate in DP flow transmitter. What is instrument manifold? Definition of a manifold. Instrument manifolds are a type of process connection system that provides the following isolation, venting, equalization, drain, calibration for various types of pressure and DP type flow and level measurement applications. Types of manifolds. There are following types of manifolds, two-way valve manifolds, three-way valve manifolds, five-way valve manifolds, are the three varieties of valve manifolds. Components of an manifold, it contains valves, fittings, mounting holes. Two-way valve manifold, the two valve manifolds are designed for static pressure and liquid level applications, application, pressure gauge, pressure transmitter, level transmitter. Two valve manifold has two isolation valves. Two valve manifold has two inlet ports and one outlet port. They are used to isolate the transmitter from the process fluid for maintenance or calibration without the need to shut down the entire process, which helps to reduce downtime and increase efficiency. A block, isolation, and bleed valve in a two-way manifold is used to provide isolation and venting of the transmitter, by blocking the process fluid flow and allowing for venting or calibration, during normal operation, blue valve open and red valve is closed. During service, bleed, vent, or test red valve is open and blue valve closed. Three-way valve manifold Three valve manifolds combine three needle valves into one unidist block to create isolation for the instrument impulse lines and an equalization feature to assist in installation and maintenance. The three valve manifolds are designed for differential pressure applications. A three-way manifold typically has one inlet and two outlets with one outlet being connected to the process pipeline or vessel and the other outlet being connected to a gauge or other instrument. The valve in the manifold can be used to direct the flow of process fluid to either the process pipeline or the instrument, allowing for easy monitoring and measurement of process parameters. A block Isolation and bleed valve in a three-way manifold is used to provide isolation and equalization of the transmitter by blocking the process fluid flow and allowing for venting or calibration. During normal operation, blue valves open and green valve is closed. Close the blue valves and open the green, equalizing. Valve TO verify the differential pressure transmitter zero. 5. Way valve manifold. Five valve manifolds combine five needle valves into one unidist block to create isolation for the instrument impulse lines and an equalization feature to assist in installation and maintenance vent slash drain or calibration valves and ports also incorporate. A five-way manifold, on the other hand, typically has one inlet and four outlets, 
with two outlets being connected to the process pipeline or vessel and two outlets being connected to gauges or other instruments. The valve and the manifold can be used to direct the flow of process fluid to any of the four outlets, allowing for more flexibility in the monitoring and measurement of process parameters. During normal operation blue valves open and green and red valves is closed. Close the blue valves and open the green, equalizing, valve to verify the differential pressure transmitter zero. With red valves is closed, during service bleed, vent, or test red valves open both blue valves closed and green valves is closed. How five-way manifold used to isolate in DP flow transmitter, close the HP and LP block valves, open the equalizing valves, open the bleed valve to vent process pressure to the atmosphere block valves, A, B, close, equalizing, E, open, bleed, C, D, open. The transmitter is now out of service. Selecting a transmitter manifold, there are several factors to consider, including, 1. Pressure rating. The pressure rating of the manifold should be appropriate for the application to ensure that it can handle the maximum pressure of the process fluid. 2. Material of construction. The material of construction should be compatible with the process fluid to prevent corrosion or damage. 3. Number of ports. The number of ports required will depend on the application and the type of transmitter being used. For type of valves, the type of valves should be selected based on the application requirements, such as ball valves for high pressure applications or needle valves for precise flow control. 5. Size of the manifold. The size of the manifold should be appropriate for the application and the available space. Thank you for watching this video.